break up. Do believe doesn't want to do action anymore, so we let the band break up. And then we start the Minuteman. In fact, this month, it was like a week ago, a week from now, um, 28 years ago, wow. 29 years ago. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, we started the reactionaries in 78, so I was 31 years old. The middle of 78. We went about a year and a half. And we broke it up and started working on our tour. Here we are. And we started with no drummer, so we're writing the songs. Now, Joe Bice is living under us. Joe Bice is from Wilmington, but he moved to Pedro. And he's living in the apartment below us. And we'd see this guy at gigs, you know. I didn't really know that punk rock guy, kind of older. Well, in the old days, a lot of the punk people were older. They were really teenagers. And since we didn't have drummer, you know, keep time or stop and say, <laughs> that was these two crazy guys uh, dancing. Because <laughs> we didn't have the amps, you know, we're just doing the guitars with each other, <laughs> sitting across from each other. And, and he's hearing this uh, stomping. Right? And, uh, he, did, he realizes he, and you meet him, you know. Oh, you are the, you guys are the two dudes living upstairs. What are you doing up there, you know? And, uh, oh, we're just writing the new songs for the new band we got. Because actually, Sacramento Trust started before the new and that was his band. Yeah. With Jack Brewer. And then, in fact, they're still going. Oh, Those yeah. two guys were yep, two younger guys. Uh, yeah, what are you guys doing up there, man? You're dancing up a storm room. No, no, no. We're trying to hold time. <laughs> then we got a drummer, a welder named Frank Tachi, and he had a little pad in his sister's backyard. See this pad here with the wreath on the door? Mm -hmm. That's it. That's the part when we started the minute, man. Joe Biza lived underneath. This guy don't even know. Huh. But this is the Minuteman. Wow. The house. There's a window. <laughs> the D. Boone's bedroom. That's where pneumonia almost killed him. Yeah. The pneumonia he got from me, and that almost yeah. killed me the weekend John Lennon and Darby died. And they have bags of ice between my arms and legs. I got better. I made it. <laughs> 